Uh, well, the important thing to know about it is they're pretty tied together. Um, you have the viral bait, you have the social bait, and you have the link bait. And their main focus is you want to get attraction. You want to get more users to like your content. Um, viral is more for branding, social bait is more for your getting your better social profile, social interaction, and link bait is, yeah, of course, getting more links. Uh, I personally think that out of those three, I think that social bait is actually the easiest one to begin with because if you think about it, it's much more easier to get 500 Facebook shares than 500 links. It's much more easier to get that kind of amount. Uh, nonetheless, but the link base, to get a lot of links, you'll get better results, of course. Uh, but I, I will not look at, you know, there's a lot of different companies and agencies who like to do the gigantic viral marketing campaign. That costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of time. So I would rather go at, with a social bait and link bait. Start to focus on that. My private opinion about buying links is actually I, I don't personally do buying and selling links. I've done it in the past a bit, but I don't do it because I don't think it's that effective anymore. Uh, because it can be effective in some places, in some competitive markets, like if you want to optimize for poker, you have to do everything in your power to rank high. Then everything is allowed. I'm sorry to say it, but everything is allowed. Uh, but regarding that, I think that a lot of times you can do a lot with just plain link bait, not link baits. So that's why I love link baits, because you can get a lot of links from it. But you have to be a little bit smart. You have got to be creative. It's not the, you know, the traditional link building is more robotic. Bam, bam, mail these people, mail this webmaster, contact webmaster, contact, 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 contact. Uh, link baiting is more, you gotta be creative, you gotta be smart, you gotta be fun, uh, everything like that. And I think those kind of links are much more better than the classical, you know, contact, contact, contact. Regarding how to engage your users is actually, uh, just ask them frankly about it. Um, the first thing I would like to do is actually, the larger sharing button you have on your site, the better, is the main rule. If you have a big ass large share this on Facebook, a lot more people will click on it. You know, the, the worst kind of buttons are the small ones with 16 pixels, small, at the bottom. People don't click there. They want a the big ass sharing button and Twitter button. That's the best way to get a lot more interaction and also stuff like that. The other thing that I like to do regarding bloggers and getting blog links, this is more a link. Uh, link to bloggers and you will finally get a link back. Link to them, communicate with them, comment on them. Uh, there's a lot of talk about, you know, no follow. I say do follow. Do follow every comment you get, every contact every blogger within your niche. Comment on your blog, talk to them, link to them, and hey, I got this great post about this stuff. I got this great video, and they will probably link to you. So you gotta be active by yourself and contact people that way. And it works really blood and good. You can never know that your links are looking naturally. Uh, that's the, that's one, uh, that's one hard question to actually look, okay, if you artificially try to build links to your site and artificially try to make them look natural, it's almost impossible. Uh, the best way to look at it is to make it as normal as possible. And what I mean about as normal as possible is actually you can get a lot of, you know, from a Google's point of view, if you have a great site or great content, say it is link page, you get all kinds of links. You will get forum links, you will get footer links, you will get links from social medias, you will get no follow links, you will get links that are great anchor text, you will get links to where it's like 2,000 characters link anchor, and some link anchor text was like here. You get all kinds of uh, good, bad, crappy, kind of good links, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think that uh, that's actually good. Um, for instance, there's good if you have some, some form of no follow links to your site. It looks natural because people advertise, people have other kind of stuff, so just try to mix it up. 
mix it up. Just don't always go for the, you know, the Hollywood links. They're absolutely amazing, you know, page rank seven links and just go for them. It won't help you that much. It will help you some bits, of course, but you gotta have every kind of links.